scratches or um, pushes against the ear skull um, in any sort of bump, fall, hit um, of the brain. Some signs and symptoms of a concussion include nausea, vomiting, headache, dizziness, irritability, personality changes, and excessive sleepiness. Recovery from a concussion will depend on the severity, but standard protocols are in place to keep you safe. If it's a mild concussion, usually we like to have the patient rest for at least 24 to 48 hours. We like to do a step-down type of um, recovery time frame where we say if it's a, an athlete, we have to gradually reintroduce them to the sports that they play. Say you hit your head falling off your skateboard, so you go into the clinic to be evaluated. So we just do a, a, a neuro status uh, examination, um, check ears, check behind the neck, the eyes, um, inside the nose, we're checking for uh, spinal fluid leakages, um, and then just, you know, their neurological setup, how, how they're doing. For student athletes participating in sports, athletic trainers at both CMR and Great Falls High School have a district mandated protocol to follow. So we use a program called Sway Medical and they do a baseline, we do a baseline test for all of our athletes and then if they do come up with symptoms, so at a game, um, we can retest them. The concussion assessment program is not the only new technology assisting in concussion prevention. Um, they have these things called guardian caps now to try and just reduce the amount of force that they're getting if they do take a hit during practice time. Participating in sports is not the only way a person can sustain a concussion injury. I think there's an element of risk involved in everything, but I, I do think there's been a little bit of a, there, there's some, maybe some fear out there on, on these things. And um, obviously I like to encourage participation in sport and I think the uh, participation far outweighs a lot of these risks and, and know that there are people you know looking out for the kids and, and um, we're doing the things to, to make sure that they're protected and taken care of. In Great Falls, Maggie Riley, MTN News.